everybody, it's Jane with Pulpit Nation. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. Today, this is going to be a complete experiment. <laughs> I'm going to do this live and I want to give you my number one tip on how to improve your handspring mounts. This was a question that was brought up last night in the studio with my students. So I thought I would share this with you and especially yesterday when I shared my video of me working on my nemesis move, the handspring mount moving forward, I um, have a fantastic handspring mount going backwards. But forwards is my nemesis move. So yesterday I had posted my video of my progress. I'm still working on it. It ain't the greatest, but I'm still working on it. But last night in the studio, one of my students asked how she can, what tips she can do on her own um, to improve her handspring mount. And I wanna share that with you. This is my number one tip on working on the handspring mount. So instead of focusing on the ground up, the kick up, coming up, I want you to think of starting from the top instead. I'm going to show you what I mean. Now, this is a complete experiment. We're going to try it on the pole. I've been kind of playing with it. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it works. Okay, so you're going to come to the pole. Oh yeah, this works pretty well. I want you to think of floating off the pole. So you're going to go into your Aisha or your, your jackknife or your pike, but I want you to think of floating off the pole. Okay, you're probably thinking, what does that look like? Let me show you. Here we go. Okay, line it up. Okay. Jackknife, pike, Aisha. Practice off the pole. So you're so used to keeping the legs onto the pole. So if you're working on handspring mounts, you don't have the upper body strength to hold the handspring mount. But if you work from the top, then you're gonna train your body, you're gonna train your arms, and you're gonna train your core to, to um, bring into the handspring mount. So you start from the top. Let me show you that again. <laughs> Here we go. So I'm gonna go into my invert. Next, one leg forward, one leg back. This is how I first started. So I was close to the pole. As I got braver, I would come off the pole. Whew. Awesome. So you're gonna train your core, you're gonna train your abs to hold off the pole. When you feel really good about that, when you feel really, really strong with it, then you're gonna work from the bottom up. The bottom up. Okay, this is what we do in our classes. We work from the top, now the bottom. Let's see how this goes. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna move the camera. Hang in here with me. We're gonna do a little adjustment. Okay, here we go. Dominant arm at the top. See how I'm like, oh, about nose height. I'm off my toes. Bottom hand onto the pole. Here's a trick. Peter pointer finger onto the pole. This helps stabilize my wrist. So here we go. Shoulder height, butt head height. My head is away from the pole. So I'm not in this position. I am away from the pole. So it's like I got a little window where I can see you. But if I'm here, I can't see you. So look through the window. Pull at the top, push at the bottom. Pull top, push bottom. Take a note, I have a bend in my elbow. Not straight, bend in my elbow. Pull, push, look out your window. Inside leg comes back, inside, bottom leg pushes. Up, up. And literally, that's what I did to get started on my handspring mounts many years ago. I just kept repeating that and repeating that up and up. Took a while because I needed to get the, work, the, the, um, the nerve. As I got better with it, I brought it into my butterfly. So I didn't go right into Aisha. 
No, I didn't go there. I went to butterfly next. Let me demonstrate. Pull, push, head is away. Peter pointer finger down. I'm in a split grip. I'm gonna kick up, I'm gonna hop, I'm gonna go into butterfly. Here we go. Butterfly. Woo, there we go. So, as I got more comfortable with that, and I mean, this is months, a year, <laughs> more than that actually, um, then I would take it into pike. No, jackknife, jackknife, pike, jackknife. Here we go, I'm gonna show you again. So, butterfly, now we're gonna go into jackknife. Pull, push, split grip, heads away. We're gonna kick up and hop. And then release. So you're starting to see the progression. Start from the top, work your way from the bottom, really working on your abs and your arms. Excellent, well I hope that helps you. If you ever have any questions at all, you can reach me at pullfitnation.com. You can also catch me on email at info at pullfitnation.com. Feel free to leave some comments down below. If you have any questions, I check them all the time. And I really just wanna share my knowledge and my experience to help others. I've been polling since 2007, and it's been a journey that I absolutely love. Thank you very much, take care.